I think they need a real leader. I think on grand final day you look to one particular individual to really stand up and, and sort of lead from the front. And for us in 97 it was definitely Paul Harrigan. He put his body on the line, he threw himself at everything that came towards him. He had no fear whatsoever and that just instilled so much belief in, in the people around him. And in 97 we were lucky to have him and then in 2001 you know, we had the great Andrew Johns who stood up on the, on the day and, and really took the game by the scruff of the neck and, and blew Parramatta off the field in the first 40 minutes. So you definitely need a game breaker but more so someone that can actually control the tempo of the match and, and inspire the people around him. Live with and die by how many healthy players you've got. So, you know, you, you can have a Ferrari, but if you can't afford to put petrol in it, it's no good to you. So, you know, that's like any football team. You need your, your key players fit and healthy on game day. And uh, you do need a lot of luck. You know, you can't deny that. Everybody talks about football. Well, football is a strange shape because it bounces in certainly many different ways. And, you know, rugby league's a game of luck a lot of the time. So, you know, a decision can go with you or against you that decides your fate. So a healthy roster and, and a bit of luck helps. Oh, there's a number of things. I, I, you know, chemistry is one. Um, I think it's very important that you've got good relationships throughout the team. Um, I think you need talented players. Um, you need guys that will commit um, through effort. Um, you need camaraderie. Um, and you need a, a team that's willing to do things that they probably may not necessarily do week in, week out. Um, you know, you've got to get, go a little bit harder. Um, and you've just got to be committed to getting the job done. I think that's, that's the, the big thing is to, you can speak about it all you want, but you've got to get it done on the day. And, um, if you're prepared well, you usually give yourself a, a good chance of doing that. Owen, so I, I think number one, a great leader, Wayne Bennett. Um, we, we had great leaders on the field that complemented each other. We actually, we always said we had two captains. Alan Langer was our, our captain and, and team captain. But Kevin Walters, he was the vocal. And you know, Alf wasn't a great talker, but he led by example. Kevy did both. Kevy was our chatter and he'd, he'd yell at us and, and get us organised, obviously as a 5-8 does. And, um, you know, and it's just, we knew our job. We, we, we all knew our job from, from fullback Julian O'Neill, you know, through to Glenn Lazarus up front. We knew the job we had to do for us to come out um, winners on that day. A good culture at a club. Uh, a great leader. Steve Wunham was one of them and uh, just camaraderie. Players need to get on well, and we did. Probably injury, you need your best side on the, on the field. Uh, 90, we, we missed Bradley Clyde. Uh, he'd done a knee and was out, but uh, a very young and capable Nigel Gaffey uh, played lock for him that day. But generally, whenever we've won it, it's been because we've had our best side. Whenever I've won a, a big game, it's generally when you've got virtually your best side available. And, and so your best side's gonna mean you've got uh, you know, a very good spine. Uh, you know, everybody fairly healthy in the forwards, you know, the key ingredients of points in you, you've got to be able to score points in the grand final. Uh, I'm, I'm a believer of that, I mean scoring, you can score points, you can win a game if, you, if you're a good defensive side, that's important, but at the end of the day, um, you know, you're energised, the team is energised by scoring points, I'm a believer in that and, uh, you know, we had points in us in each of those grand finals.